Hello guys and welcome to the channel, it's The Eradicator and today we are going to talk about the MISC Expands, the latest concept ship from Cloud Imperial Games which is still on sale right now for $150 and I really believe that when it comes online it will mark the true beginning of player to player transaction, the player to player economy, so I really cannot wait for this ship. CIG, please, please, please start working on this ship so that it gets available relatively soon, that would be really awesome. And we've got a Q&A to keep the hype up. And CIG answered some of the hottest questions regarding the expanse. And the, one of the questions, some of the questions are about the speed of the refining process. And they, apparently, CIG want the refining to be faster than in the stations. In the stations, it can take several days to refine a job, which uh, is not really annoying, but uh, it keeps you busy. Uh, you have to do other things in the meantime than just uh, mining or refining. If you cannot, I mean, if you if you if you cannot wait, of course, you have the choice to go for faster refining processes which either are more expensive or will waste some of the resources that you would have um, that you have mined uh, i don't think that the uh, the expense is going to be uh, like this surely it will have different types of processes as it will as it was also announced in the q a but uh, nevertheless the idea is still to go faster than the big refineries because well you're not the the expense is not going to be handling thousands of refining jobs at the same time it's just going to be you and your customer or your own load so that's why according to cig it should be much faster or at least that's what they are going to be uh, saying here uh, they also want the process to be skilled based which is very interesting as well so it's not just going to be some kind of mini game but it's also going to require some skills so if you are skilled at at the at the refining materials then you should be more effective and faster at the same time there was also a very good question about quantinium because you know that, that if you buy quantinium there's a little timer and at the end of this timer your ship will explode because the quantinium is volatile and yes uh, it's the transferring the quantinium from a prospector to an expense is not going to be stopping that timer unfortunately so uh, the only way to stop the timer is to start the refining process so that is something that is going to be worth keeping in mind it's also worth noting that you will not be able to continue the refining process if you store your expense they want refining to be an active process meaning that you will have to monitor what is going on in the refinery during the whole process if you get out of uh, if you don't monitor what's going to happen maybe something can go south maybe the mining process will fail uh, so they kind of want you to look at your screens and modify a couple of things a little bit i think that it's going to be looking a little bit like when you are clearing your Cryostat and if you if you leave the area maybe there will be some kind of timer and the process will be cancelled and you have to start all over again or maybe you will lose the materials so you're gonna have to be watching out for that when you are going to be expanding next there will be consumables in the expense just like there is in the prospector that is something that they want to use so they will be use some uh, power catalyst or other agents that's going to uh, help with the refining process just like you know the, what's been done with uh, with mining and I'm pretty sure that they're, they're going to be very creative at finding ways to make refining a very compelling type of gameplay just like mining has become quite compelling over the over time at the beginning I really didn't like mining I find it boring and then it started to grow on me and I I'm gonna mine uh, much more in 3.17 I actually made an exclusive video for my patreon and John better members that explain uh, in detail why I'm very excited about mining in 3.17 by the way anyway uh, talking about power here that's very interesting there was a little bit there were a few questions about the power plants and as well as the shields and for example why is there only a size one shield and here they're explaining that because the refining process is going to be very power hungry uh, the ship cannot afford to have anything bigger than a size one shield but it's also going to be possible in the future to change your power plant and uh, the ship is going to be more effective with uh, better power plants as well so uh, again the idea of uh, swapping components uh, is something that has been always important in star citizen and uh, they want that to be able to make an impact as of uh, how much of an impact is this going to make we still don't know is this going to make for example the refining process faster that would be great uh, but as of, uh, as of right now we don't know uh, talking about the cargo capacity of, uh, the, of the ship here it is indeed 64 SEO of cargo capacity but it would be possible to put re refine uh, ref uh, to put materials 
in the refinery while having your 64 SU of cargo, cargo capacity full. However, you will not be able to start the refining process or put them in the sacks after if your sacks are full. So that's also something that you have to keep in mind here. You are going to have to sell your material before, uh, before eventually uh, profiting from the materials that are in the refinery. So that's basically it here. Eventually they also want the, the, um, the experience to be able to refine fuel, but obviously why would you do that if a staffer is so much better? at doing that right so that's pretty much it for this video thank you so much for watching uh, these are the uh, hot questions from uh, the community to start to uh, start season developers regarding the expense and uh, well makes me hyped a little bit more and more excited about the expense a ship that i'm really looking forward to but uh, let me know in the comment section down below guys were your hot questions answers or do you have other questions you'd like cig to answer let me know in the comment section down below to get a chance to win a cutlass black thanks to dj timo all you have to do is to answer the question and subscribe to the channel in public settings also if you want to help out the channel furthermore well any help is appreciated on patreon or via the youtube joint membership you have access to exclusive videos as i said there was another one that was released today and to my discord channel where we have another giveaway there thanks to dr fabin we have a, uh, a 400i with the green paint the uh, i forgot the name of the paint it's just green it's beautiful anyway thank you so much for watching thank you so much to dr fabin eric Ohm, the dj dunn uh captain snake and geek citizen it's the eradicator i will see you guys later a huge shout out to everyone who's been helping me out on patreon and via the youtube joint membership program creating content on youtube involves continuous circles of ups and downs and it is when we are the lower parts of the curve that your help really motivates me to keep on going your contribution really does make a difference, which is why in return I try to give back by offering backers access to my private Discord channel, automatic access to exclusive giveaways, or answering your questions during the show. You can help me out with as little as a dollar a month, and any help is greatly appreciated. Thank you very much for watching again. This is the Eradicator. I'll see you guys later.